Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back or welcome if you are new. IP adapter got a new release and upgrade. When we talk about an update, most of the time it is something that is really good. In this case, IP adapter got updated or upgraded to the point that the name got changed to version 2 or v2 for short however a lot of people got very frustrated when the version got released let's talk about it so as you can see we got ip adapter v2 it's a complete code rewrite and the one thing that we should pay attention to is that this is a breaking update most of the frustration that you will see online people saying that their ip adapter workflow is no longer working is because of this breaking update some of you may have workflows like this or maybe more complex workflows but the main idea is we got an image it goes into the ip adapter goes into the k sampler and then we get an image however if you made the mistake of updating IP adapter, something that is quite normal, clicking on the manager and clicking on the update all button. Most of you probably did not even notice that in this section here, we have issue news and it tells us that Comfy UI IP adapter plus custom node has undergone significant structural changes, rendering it incompatible with existing workflows so if you did update then i'm sorry to tell you that your existing workflows will no longer work and you will have to take a minute and decide on how you want to approach it you can start building a new workflow from scratch using the new nodes or you can roll back your comfy ui and your comfy ui ip adapter node to a previous release later i will show you how you can roll back your ip adapter installation after the update this is what you will see in your workflows it will tell you that there is an undefined node and if we look at it it's from the comfy ui ip adapter plus now unfortunately just going into the manager and clicking on install missing custom node will not work because the node itself no longer exists according to comfy ui managers database to fix this issue there are two possible ways of fixing this issue the first method is just accepting that there is a new version and taking a moment going through all of your workflows and updating the workflows to use the new nodes solution number two is to roll back your comfy ui and the ip adapter custom node to an earlier release so that you can keep on using the previous nodes let's start with solution number one to use the new node in your current workflow so first locate the missing custom node select it press delete remove it completely then go into an empty space double click search for ip adapter and look for the ip adapter one there is also an ip adapter advance we'll take a look at that later for now select ip adapter and then at this point you may be tempted to just use your current nodes so go into the load checkpoint grab your model place the model into the ip adapter model then we see that there's an ip adapter we already have a model loader for ip adapter we can take that into it there's also the load image here take that load image into it we don't have an attention mask so leave that there take the model into the case sampler update the load image change your prompt everything that you would normally do and some of you may have tried this if you click on the q prompt it will load the model it will go through and the moment it hits ip adapter you will get an error like this telling you that you now need to load the models using an ip adapter unified node so go just before your ip adapter where we have the model remove it 
take the model, drag out, click on the search, and then look for unified. Select the IP adapter unified loader. This IP adapter unified loader requires the model as an input. So we'll go into the load checkpoint, drag the model into the IP adapter unified model. And now before we would go into the IP adapter model and select our model from there. This time, instead of using this IP adapter model loader, can remove that. By the way, you can also remove the clip vision. You would just go into the preset and then select from one of the presets there. It will automatically select the correct model for you. If we compare it with the IP adapter model loader, which is the previous version, the light one is the same as IP adapter SD15 light. The standard is the same as IP adapter SD1.5. We have medium. And this one already tells us that it's the VITG. Then we have the plus, higher strength. Then we have the phase models. These two nodes will replace the clip vision loader and then the IP adapter node plus the IP adapter model loader. Now we also need the IP adapter and you just need to drag from the unified loader directly into the IP adapter. By the way, this IP adapter here it's just if you are chaining different IP adapters, multiple IP adapters in your workbook. This is an optional input field. Okay, so at this point you should have something like this. Your model goes into the unified loader, which goes into the IP adapter. And then the IP adapter from the unified loader goes into the IP adapter node. Then you just need to pass an image to the IP adapter and the output of the IP adapter should go into a K sampler. Click on Q prompt. And as we can see, it goes past the IP adapter into the K sampler. And just to show you that if you need to chain multiple IP adapters, this is how you're going to do it. You'll have your first unified loader, which goes into the first IP adapter. Now the IP adapter output from the unified loader will go into the second unified loader and that second unified loader can have its own IP adapter. You can keep chaining and experiment with it. And if you're using face ID, be sure to use the IP adapter unified loader for face ID. There's a dedicated one for that. Now, if you do not want to use the unified loader and you want to have more control, there is another node called IP adapter advance. And this is how it looks. To search for it, double click on an empty space, type in adapter advance, and you should see it right there. Let me reset back to where we had that missing node. Okay, so imagine this is your workflow and you want to use the advanced version of the node. So again, I'm going to remove the missing old IP adapter node, double click, add the IP adapter advanced. And this one, it will use the previous custom nodes. So we are going to use the IP adapter model loader, which gives us the IP adapter. I'm going to use the clip vision from the load clip vision node. Image is going to come from the load image node model. The same thing from your load checkpoint model. And then there is this image negative, which is an extra option that you have in this advanced node. Hey, welcome back. I'm not sure if this is a new video or the second part of the previous video. I went out for lunch and came back. So we'll see. Yes, we were going through the second solution on how to fix IP adapter missing custom dude. By the way, this method will require the use of a terminal. You can use CMD, command prompt, Windows terminal. If you're on a Mac, you can use the Mac built-in terminal. Open your file explorer and go to where you have Comfy UI installed. You should see the folder Comfy UI and next to it, there will be these two batch files. That's most of the time what you use to run Comfy UI. So once you're in this Comfy UI 
folder location, click and go into the Comfy UI, then go into custom nodes, look for your Comfy UI IP adapter plus, this is for me. I will go into that folder, double click or press enter. Once you are inside the custom node, the IP adapter custom node, click at the top, the address bar and type in CMD, press enter and you will get a command prompt. Next, test, type in git log dash dash one line and press enter. You should get an output like this. One of these line will say complete code rewrite. There will be blood. All right. Just look for this specific line. If you're watching this in the future, it's possible that this line is going to be way down and you will need to scroll down. For that, just use your down arrow key, press it, and you will see that it will keep going down and you can look for it in that list. So for me, it's here. You need to select the hash, these numbers in front of the line, complete code rewrite. These are the hashes. So select the hash, which is one below it. So in my case, it is fixed time step on Windows. It should be the same for you. Highlight it, click and drag to select, press Control C to copy. If you're on a Mac, Command C, then press Q to exit out of this Git log mode. Type in Git, check out one word, and then Control V to paste. Some of you may have to do Control Shift and V to paste, or you can manually type the code. If you do not see this, just type in this code manually in your terminal. Press enter. It will tell you that it's switching to this GitHub comment and that we have a detached head. If you see this type of output, it means that you are good. You can verify by typing git branch and the one that's highlighted is the rollback version. So we went back in time to get an earlier copy of Comfy UI. This main, this is the most up-to-date version of Comfy UI IP adapter plus that you have on your system. Now, just in case you're wondering, you can always do git switch and then type in main, press enter, and this will take you back to the latest version. So if you want to roll back, go to the latest version. This is how you do it. You just say git, switch main and to go back to that detach head just to git checkout and then the hash so once you're there you can close out the terminal go back to comfy ui double click the run nvidia gpu to restart comfy ui before that let me show you how my current ip adapter workflow looks like if i'm on the main version so the latest v2 version and if i open any of my previous IP adapter workflow, it will tell me that I am missing IP adapter apply and I will see the red node there. If I do the git checkout and then type in the hash, press enter, then go into my Comfy UI installation, double click on run NVIDIA GPU, basically just restart Comfy UI. All right, so Comfy UI loaded. If I go back to my web interface, I click on the refresh button and you can see I'm back to my previous workflow. My IP adapter node from my previous workflow is still available for me to use. If I double click and search for IP adapter advanced, you can see I now do not have the IP adapter advanced, which is from V2. So this is the other method of how you can get back an earlier version of IP adapter plus custom node. Okay, so this was the second way of fixing the missing broken IP adapter custom node. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you've upgraded and you are using an online version of Comfy UI, you do not have access to the terminal, then you will need to upgrade and use the unified loader or use the IP adapter advanced custom node. I'm just curious how many of you plan on upgrading or how many of you plan on staying on that previous version, or if some of you may have updated your Comfy UI and IP adapter custom node by accident, what do you plan to do? Let me know in the comments down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not, 
and I will see you in the next one.